This is my first dual test video of PSX emulator with various BIOSes for video and audio. Took a lot of tweaking and as well the video recording system is Bandicam and this is a licensed version that I managed to get a hold of. Um, also testing the settings on that to see how well this does and hoping everything goes well. Um, there's still some audio lagging here and there uh, while loading various game menus and during battle swirls and such. And over time the audio seems to have a latency issue where it progressively gets glitchier over time. But it's not really noticeable unless you're running multiple applications in the background and toggling screens. But as for progressive play, it should be alright. We're going to go ahead and give this a test shot here. And hoping the cinematics work out as well. Um, that's another issue. It tends to freeze sometimes on cinematics. Bandicam also reduces my system's ability since my laptop is fairly old. And it puts a little more strain on there than the emulator normally runs. So some of the lagging and glitching you experience um, probably won't be there without the use of Bandicam, and it'll be a little smoother. But here we go. And as for resolution on uh, emulated system, fairly old laptop. It's about five years old now. Um, pretty decent. Uh, last time I tried this on a desktop, um, resolution was choppy, but things are running pretty smooth. And if anybody remembers the old Final Fantasy cinematics and start screens here. The intro to the game takes a few minutes and there's absolutely no way to skip it. It just kinda does its thing and then throws you into gameplay. I messed with the settings earlier and I have gotten smoother play and smoother audio with less latency and graphics glitch, but the problem with it is that it tends to run a little too fast and your gameplay runs in turbo mode. But as for standard game speed, this seems to be the most accurate that I've come across with the least amount of glitching. And the video and the audio seems to be fairly synced. And right off the bat, your first combat. Audio kind of lagging there, but the battle swirl was decent. Kind of slowing down into gameplay, but again, that's most likely due to Bandicam running at the same time. Bandicam tends to take a lot of resources while running. Um, but in retrospect, file size and compression is amazing. Um, you can do fairly long videos, taking up almost no space at all. So, again, doing this on a much faster system would probably benefit other users. I will eventually end up getting a newer system. That's some good lag there for battle screen. I might be able to tweak that later and speed it up. But again, this is first full test run here. There goes the audio picking up speed again. Back to normal. A oh, little bit of turbo audio. Kind of normalizing a bit. I also noticed a little bit of shaking on the screen, and I'm not too sure what that's about, but 
There goes another spike. It's going slow again. This is also probably due to my system being five years old and a fairly cheap system to begin with. It's running on fairly old technology compared to newer day computers. And technology is fairly advanced compared. I believe this is a first generation uh, triple core. Just barely faster than a dual core. Um, now we have third and fourth and fifth generation dual cores. Much more proficient. As well as the video card in the system is not exactly meant for gameplay. Um, basic home office and movie presentations, watching DVDs was kind of all it was meant for. So running emulators and video recording and all that kind of stuff is a luxury. Um, lucky that it works. Some heavy lag in there. I'm gonna try and run around a little bit here, maybe hopefully get into another battle. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and turn this off and post this for my first video. And hopefully if I get it running a little smoother, I'll post a second video later. Again, real bad lagging when it comes to actual battle mode, which a lot of people have had issues before. Getting the menus to pop up correctly in some of the emulating systems is a little hard. I know I tried this with Final Fantasy IX once before, and I couldn't see any of my attack menus. You just kind of had to guess where everything was at. I can turn down my settings. I've got this turned up pretty high on my settings. So I can lower the resolutions and this will probably run a lot smoother. And that'll do it. Thank you for watching. This is again my first video using Bandicam as well as the ESPX emulator and I believe I'm using Pete's plugins for the emulator. Um, it has various different ones you can play and tweak around with. But Thank you for watching!